Well, I'm guessing that Lucy's not outside. Go on about your business, I ain't going to bother you. <clears throat> okay, I have five knives. I have all five sheaths cut out, and I'm starting on Abel's sheath. This is what his is looking like so far. I'm fixing to sew on the belt loop, and then... Uh, glue close it and glue it up and let it set for a few hours and then i'll get started on the other i'm doing the three dinner skinners first and see how far i can get on them today uh i may even get to the, this is the bc special and the texas rumble uh, i may get to at least uh, glue them together today we'll see i'm not going to be in a hurry today's monday and uh that motorcycle i was ooing and awing over uh, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Uh, I'm going to keep my motorcycle for a while. And we're going to concentrate on getting rid of my wife's Fury. The Fury is a very nice bike, but it is not for people who do not have long arms and long legs. It's just a, a too long of a stretch from the seat to the handlebars to be uh, comfortable and to ride it for any length of time. Sure, it looks cool, but uh, we're, you know, we're about comfort and, be, you know, being able to put miles on. And after an hour or two of riding it, it's just painful. And it's dangerous for her because, you know, if she has to reach going straight, then every anytime she's turning left or right, the reach is even far greater, which you know, makes it very hard to either operate the throttle when you're stretched out beyond uh, reason or operate the clutch when you're turning right. So we're going to probably uh, get her. I'm hoping she'll get a Harley because I can work on Harleys. Uh, you know, I know where to get Harley parts and just, uh, I, I like American bikes. That's all there is to it. You know, there's nothing wrong with a Honda. Uh, I like my state line, my Honda state line. I'm probably going to keep that for a while. But what we're going to try to do is trade her bike in on a Heritage Softail or Road King or something like that. And uh, make it comfortable for her to ride. And then, when we get hers set up, then I will look for an Ultra Classic and who knows, by then I may be able to afford a brand new one. Or an Indian. I do like the Indians. But anyway, I got myself all worked up about that motorcycle I was looking at. And then I googled the address. It was kind of too good to be true because the price is just low enough to attract all kinds of people. And I think that's what their uh, goal, <clears throat> goal was. It's got to be a scam for that kind of miles. Uh, and that year motorcycle in that condition. And the pictures that were taken of it were in front, front of a, a nice dealership. So those were not pictures, present day pictures. Because I googled the address. And uh, it's in uh, kind of a bad area of Dallas. That you wouldn't want to go to at night. And even during the day you'd want to go strapped with backup. So... It's nowhere I wanted to go look at a motorcycle. And it said dealership, and I Googled the address, and the address, it looks like a scrapyard is what it looks like. And uh, if you've ever been to scrapyards, you know, there's a lot of uh, people you don't want to be around hanging around scrapyards, mostly meth heads or drug addicts. I'm not saying all scrappers are meth heads or drug addicts, but I'm saying scrapping is a... Is something that meth heads and drug addicts do because there's you know you can steal anything you want and go sell it at a scrapyard and there's very little investigation nobody asks many questions okay 
Let me get back to this. I'm fixing to sew this on. I gotta punch some holes, sew this on, glue it together, and start on the next one. Man, I got a lot done today. These are not done, but they're done up to, they're all sewed. This is for the Texas Rumble. Uh, this, I think, is a solid color. I gotta look at my, my, uh, the order. This is getting a, a bit of a fade, a black fade. And one of these, I think this is getting a burgundy fade. And this is getting a black fade. And this is going to get a, a black fade. But, I gotta let this glue, the glue is still wet in the seams. So I gotta let that dry. And that'll be tomorrow before that dries. So I'm actually going to take these home with me and leave them in the house so they'll dry, you know, because I don't leave the heat on out here overnight. And uh, I think that's it for me today. That's all I can do. And uh, tomorrow, let's see, tomorrow's Tuesday. I won't be out here Tuesday because uh, I think Bev has to go to a doctor somewhere. Um, I'm not even sure what time, but tomorrow's probably going to be used for going to a doctor. Alrighty. I'll uh, show you these when they're all done. You taking a picture or video? A video of her getting she off. She wanted Rachel to get up. She wanted sleepy. that spot. She wanted your warm spot. Yeah. <laughs> that is one big dog. She's pretty. Pretty face. Almost six months old. 65 pounds her and her feet are the size of work boots. Yeah, they sound like boots. Yeah, when she walks and across this floor, it sounds like she's wearing work boots. Shadow. You a good girl. You are. You a good girl. You just the smartest thing. Look at that smart face. <laughs> Look at that smart face. <laughs> And everybody loves you except for him. You haven't won him over yet. You go, Shadow. Yeah. You go home? Yeah. You go home now? When she comes over for three days and they're outside, he'll he'll eventually join the, the playing routine because he he does like to run and play. <laughs>